live streaming this one. We're just doing a video. Right. We got Bob Larry, Herkimer lacrosse coach. Herkimer Hello lacrosse. out there in television land. <laughs> Herkimer lacrosse legend. So uh, one thing I noticed is actually there's a lot of Herkimer alumni out here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely there is. That's crazy. Uh, so I found out Coach Ron. Ron Kogan yeah. is one of our boys. Yeah. He's a little, little fella, huh? Goodness gracious! <laughs> he makes me feel tiny. He is huge. Yeah. This is uh this is a pretty good show. I this is my first time out to the Nexus Center. Yeah, oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Really. Right now you've got uh two hockey rinks playing kids games and right in the middle of all that we've got the uh PBLA training camps here at Q Spark going on. I mean you know, I'm all ADD. I, I literally maybe won't be effective in this space because everyone I'm just like going like this. You know? It's just too much happening. Yeah, yeah. I, I need to. I need to drink it in. You know, it's it's a lot to take in. I tell you, and they're getting ready to start scrimmaging. I can't wait. Uh, rumor is they're going to scrimmage out here next weekend. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I didn't even need, so you know way more than me already. I don't know that, about that, all that. which isn't that much. No. You know, so. How uh, how was fall ball? Fall ball was good. Fall ball was good. We went with uh, we went with Army Prep and we went with uh, SUNY Poly and we went with Morrisville. So I mean, you know. Good programs, and uh, you know we, we did very well at times, and other times we we learned that we need to learn some things, and uh, you know that's how you want it to, to go. I mean, we're not trying to win the fall national championship, you know. We're no, trying to get better. So uh, you know, it's going to be exciting. It's, it should be an exciting season. Oh, Excuse us, oh, and now we we've almost, got the uh, bombers. We almost got killed by the bombers. The bombers warming up. The bomb up. There you go. There you go. That's four by hill right there. Four by hill running in the back. Hang on, we can even flip it around. <laughs> we got four by hill. We got Paul Necker, Mark Murphy. Yeah. And the Bombers jogging around the top. So uh, going into the spring season, what are we thinking? Last year you made the top ten. I know, I think we finished ninth, I think. Yeah. Uh, fin I don't know. It's, it's unbelievable. I mean, we had we had 14 guys when we were at full strength, and most of the time we had 11. So I, it was a magical year. It really was. I mean, you know, we, we started with like three and, and we got it up a little and, and large credit to the alumni and friends of the program. Um, and I tell you what, it's uh, it's more regular this year. We got somewhere between 25 and 35 at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, it'll be, uh, we'll have a little depth that we didn't have last year. So when we get to the highest levels last year, we just couldn't compete. But, uh, you know, this year we should be able to run with teams and, you um, get some things done that way and uh you know there's good competition OCC is going to be good Genesee is going to be good and of course you got NASA on the Maryland teams but we're, we're trying to get ourselves in that conversation again like we used to be you know yeah so. Herkimer was always a powerhouse uh, right glad the program's definitely coming back I don't know though it'd be tough for me to root for Herkimer against Dempsey I love that yeah oh yeah yeah that's yeah. uh that's, wow. It's yeah. something special they're doing out in Onondaga. Yeah. Having the I'm not too. sure if he invented uh, field lacrosse in, in Onondaga County, but he's a good dude. <laughs> he's a great uh, dude. <laughs> how, uh, so how did you guys do last year against Onondaga? Uh, yes, we did. Yes, we did. We, we you learned. Did. And, and we did so well that we got to play him twice. Uh, that was a real that was a real treat to get that experience twice. But uh, I mean, sincerely, that's who you want to be. I mean, that's what well, we're aspiring to be then. And a long time ago, they aspired to be Herkimer, and, and Chuck Wilbur and, and Mike Villano are Herkimer grads, and, and uh, those programs are very, very, they're very similar. Philosophies are similar, but right now they're bigger, faster, stronger than us, and you know, it's our job to catch them. So, uh, you know, we're going to give it a go, and uh, but boy, they're good. They're very good. No, they're a great team, and they always, uh, yeah, like you said, huge credit to their uh, coaching staff for what they do out there. Yeah, well, well, the two saws going to do a nice job for sure. But I mean, Herkimer's back on the rise, and that's what most people want to see. Is you want a competitive JUCO. Nobody wants to go and I mean, yeah, they do want to be in a, have an undefeated season, but they're not learning right. anything if they're blowing everybody out. Well, you know what I like to say is, uh, you know, if you're gonna dress up in a suit like Batman, you need someone else to dress in a suit like Joker. Otherwise, you're just an idiot in a suit. You know what I mean? So yeah, you got to have the rivalry. So uh, I, I'm not going to say that, uh, you know, like, ooh, we hate them because they're, you know, we respect them and we, we think they're really good. And, and that's the one thing with this game. You're supposed to be respecting your opponent. We're going to play hard. We'll show up and try to beat them. 
And I'm sure that that's the same thing for them. I, I would hope that we're on their radar and we have their attention. Um, you know, that's the plan. So, Gen and let's not forget Genesee or... Oh, yeah. No, no, there's, yeah there's lots Monroe of them. beat us, too, so we're not forgetting them. And we haven't played Nassau yet. Uh, this year we're playing Howard and um, we're playing Delaware Tech. So we're playing a couple more teams uh, than we did last year. We Last year there was a few times where I wasn't sure we were finishing the season. You know, your one injury would set us off. So, yeah. Uh, you know, um, so it's different this year, but it's going to be fun. Really, yeah, it's going to be, you know, competitive in junior college. And, we're, you know, we're excited. I, you know, Finger Lakes is back, and their coach is Travis Eckler. used to play at Herkimer. And, um, well, I mean, the JUCO program around here really is a feeder program for a lot of four-year schools. Plus, oh, yeah. it gives so many guys an opportunity to play right. that wouldn't still have a chance to play competitively. Absolutely, absolutely. We like to be a feeder program for uh, the Yeti and for for uh, Binghamton and Syracuse. And uh, you know, I'm looking down. There's Ronnie Cogan down there, and I, I see uh, Coach Brim, who coached me at Onondaga. Uh, he's down there on the staff too. So I'm really excited to see. You know, Brim. There he is. Look, wave yeah. to the camera. There you go. Where is he? Right, right over here. Coach oh, Brim is, he is. A, He's an OCC guy. Ronnie Cogan. Herb Floyd, there you go. Graham on the right. Awesome Going stuff, middle. man. Yeah. We got it. Fantastic. Yeah, here's the Herkimer. Yeah, salute. <laughs> Herkulum. Skull. Skull. <laughs>